Now Steve Hartman with the Super Bowl star who reads between the lines. Ladies and gentlemen, your New England Patriots. Generally speaking, Super Bowl pregame interviews aren't a great source of stimulating conversation. And yet every year, reporters gather 12 deep for this cliche fest. Saying it's good when you come together as a team. Fortunately, this year, there was a rookie from New England with something novel to talk about. Good to see you again. Novels, like Gone Girl. What about her false diary? Yeah. How does the author use that in the narrative? Well, it's, the diary is almost a different character in the book. I first met this voracious reader wide receiver three years ago. Malcolm Mitchell was in college then, playing for Georgia, when one day he ran into a woman at Barnes & Noble. She didn't know he was a famous football player and invited him to join her book club, which he did. And that's how one of the top wide receivers in the country began meeting monthly with his book club lady friends. Oh, yeah. And then he went to the wedding. I love that. I love that part. <laughs> he was the only man and the youngest by a generation. But Malcolm didn't care, didn't care what anyone thought. Somebody called me a nerd. It's not a word that I'm used to hearing. Is it OK, though? Are you OK with the label? I was proud of it. Great. It's like a badge of honor to me, knowing where I came from. Malcolm confessed to me that when he started college, he could only read at about a junior high level, and it bothered him. So he started putting as much effort into his reading game as his football game. Every free moment, he had a book in his hand, until eventually he was reading them by the dozens. Yeah, th then it was great. And that's why, no matter what he does on Sunday, Malcolm says football will never be his proudest accomplishment. That came natural. That's a gift. I had to work to read. Which brings us to the latest chapter in his life story. I think it was after the interview we did and I saw the reaction. You know, it kind of took, up a, took on a life of its own. Good morning. Today, the reader is a writer, too. So I wrote the book that you have in your hands today, The Magician's Hat. The Magician's Hat is a children's book about the magic of reading. Follow your dreams. He has also started a kids' literacy foundation, all of which leads me to the same conclusion I had after my first meeting with Malcolm. If we could all just follow your example, our country would be in a perfectly good place. You don't know how much that means to me, man. Malcolm Mitchell. Seriously. Super Bowl winner. Steve Hartman, on the road, in Houston. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. Coming up Sunday, 60 Minutes presents front row seats to Hamilton and the Pope's Choir. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, good night.